Yeah, so much love, so much support, and he's right here at this business, a lot of respect. We're waiting now for Representative for Altitude Trampoline Park to come and talk to us, but they have done this. They have posted that sign right there on the door, which says that they're closed out of respect for that 12-year-old who came here with friends to celebrate his birthday with family and lost his life in that tragic fall. Now, one person who knew him well told me this is the saddest thing that ever happened. Matthew Liu had the kind of personality that everyone in his Gastonia community relished. Was the nicest young man I've ever seen. Lorraine Dalpiaz is 85 years old. She said she bonded with her 12-year-old neighbor. He did nothing but please people. She said Lou often played games with her and her 90-year-old sister. Age didn't matter. He loved people, and people in the Southampton community loved him. I don't know anyone that he didn't like. The birthday boy was with people he liked Wednesday night. They were at Altitude Trampoline Park for his birthday party. Those close to Lou said he had an adventurous spirit. Something went wrong when he was on the indoor climbing wall. He fell 10 to 15 feet and suffered a head injury. He was airlifted to Levine Children's Hospital and died the next day. Everyone's in shock. Everyone is very sad. We're all crying our eyes out all the time. Through this grief, Dow Piaz is organizing help from neighbors for the family that produce such a kind soul. Everybody wants to help them out. And the question of what went wrong still lingers here today. A police from Laurel came by. They wanted to take a look at the video that was rolling from security cameras during that fatal fall. And they said they didn't see anything yet. It would lead them to believe there was a criminal act here. And we've also learned that once the doors do open here at this trampoline park, that climbing wall will be off limits, Scott.